Hey guys, last night during my birthday party, my friends and I had a lot of fun with games, music, dance and food. Everyone enjoyed the two flavors of cake we had ordered. But some portion of the cake ended up as leftover. I wonder which one of the two cakes has more left. Let's express the remaining cake in each case as a fraction so we can compare and decide which of the two has more left. The chocolate cake has 3 out of 4 pieces remaining. In fraction form, this can be written as 3 over 4. And the vanilla cake has 2 out of 5 pieces remaining. In fraction form, this can be written as 2 over 5. Here, our task is to compare 3 quarters and 2 fifths. Since these are not like fractions, we'll have to perform some detailed calculation to compare them. What if we could reduce the amount of calculation and still be able to compare them? Let's express them as percentages. To express a fraction as a percentage, we must multiply it by 100%. Going forward, 3 over 4 multiplied by 100% gives us 3 multiplied by 25%, which is equal to 75%. Similarly, 2 over 5 multiplied by 100% gives us 2 multiplied by 20%, which equals to 40%. Therefore, 75% of the chocolate cake is left over, while only 40% of the vanilla cake is left over. Now, 75% is greater than 40%. Hence, more of the chocolate cake is left over. Clearly, percentage values are easier to interpret as compared to fractions. Let me store them in the refrigerator. I remember the two cakes cost 1,240 rupees and 75 paise. But I paid only 1,241 rupees because I did not have change. I wonder 75 paise is what percent of a rupee? We know that 1 rupee is equal to 100 paise and 75 out of 100 paise can be written as 75 over 100. Since the denominator in this fraction is 100, we can express the number in the numerator directly as a percentage. Thus, 75 over 100 is 75%. Therefore, 75% of 1 rupee is 75 paise. Okay then, I had a long day cleaning up after the party. So I'm going to get some rest now. I'll see you next time.